Over the years, the Champions League has given us great matches and not so great matches. Today, we're going to be taking teams like Real Madrid 3 peat Klopp's Liverpool, and Pep City. And we're going to be ranking them on a tier list to see who was the best Champions League winning side of all time. Let's get it, Millie. I'm hyped. Manchester United will be on this list. S tier. I guarantee it. I really doubt that, Varvar. Boys, before we get into the teams, we'd just like to say our word for our sponsors, Squarespace. This video is brought to you by today's amazing sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything. Your products, the content you create, and even your time. Boys, let's get into it. We're going to be starting with the most recent team to have won the Champions League. Pep's Man City. Where are we ranking them? This was a good side. I want to hear the Manchester United's opinion. It was a good side. Okay. But I cannot say I would put them S tier. Even though it was one of the most dominant CL sides we've seen. The, exactly. The, the question is, is it, was it a cakewalk to that final? No, a it wasn't. A lot of people were saying it's a cakewalk. No, it wasn't. I'm just saying that... There was better Man City sides in the past that just didn't win Champions League, but I would say were better. Like Centurion was better than that Man City team. I don't know, that's debatable. These guys did not lose a single match that year. Do you understand how difficult that is? Okay, but mind you, you have to think of the competition that was in that Champions League that year. It's still an incredible feature. Like these guys, that team might be the best English team ever. No, brother. No. How can we not all agree that this team was insane? They're up okay. there. I'm gonna just gonna say I'm gonna put them low A, high B. Oof. That's that's solo. I'm gonna put them high A. I For think me, S. S. Clear S. Okay, so whatever, we'll do A because we're not putting them in there. I don't. I think I think there's other teams on this list, firms that deserve that S. I don't I, know if this city side deserves that. Yeah, S because this is all I'm saying. Inter should have won that Champions League final. I'll say nothing more about uh, yeah, it. Yeah, they also in the Apart CL from final, the final. The CL final, that was a 50, that was a coin toss. Sure, but before that, it was a dominant, like they just ran over every opponent. So. Uh, Real Madrid, low key. They, they destroyed Real Madrid. They did not destroy Real Madrid. What are you talking about? Vavra, listen, first leg, it was close. It was 1 1, but second leg, 4 0 for City, like that's getting steamrolled. I, I honestly. Um, I'm A is fine. I think S, we're fine not doing it. We're Let, not doing S. Let's here. put them high A. High A is okay with me. Okay, whatever. High A. I'll be fine with that. Speaking of Real Madrid, they were the previous winners. We're going to Real Madrid 21 22. Where are we ranking them? Low key, Madridista, stand up. I stand with you. But low key, this was one of the flukier CL wins. It was. And I'm not saying it because I'm wearing a Barca shirt as per usual, but. Like, I don't know, some wins were not convincing at all. Like, I agree. In, in the grand scheme of winners, look, just to be on this list, you had to be a very good team. Of course, yeah. So, I'm going to say high C, low B for this. Uh, that's, that's crazy, brother. Because they were, they, they won La Liga. They did? They, they won Supercopa. Wasn't, that's they not did. something to brag about when, I, like, Ronald... Who was even the man? That was, like, Xavi's, like, first half season, I think. But it's still a feat that you have to take into consideration. This is a Real Madrid team that we counted out too, Varvar. We counted this team I out. Agree, Everyone but, did. But Everyone. Like, there, I feel like every single round, you could have said they could have lost that. Uh, but I don't know, because they that's Ballon d'Or Benzema right there. Chelsea, when they played Chelsea, they could have lost that. They could have. Yeah. When they played Man City, they could have lost that. But Benzema came in clutch. So is it a matter of like, like these guys were that good that they could come against the the the, the adversity how do you say that the adversity adversity, adversity. Yeah, yeah exactly or was it like they were just not good you know what i mean like i, I don't know. know i i i you guys can say what you want i said high c low b and i'm gonna stick to it i i like low b because yes although they weren't playing the best they were a good they were a good team you know I, like it's one of those sides that you're gonna look back in 20 years ago like okay yeah th those were ballers but in in today's context I, I gotta have to agree with you guys. I think B is the right option here. Yeah, so we'll go B. Yeah. Like they weren't as perfect as Man City uh, treble, but individual brilliance, that, that's what got them across the finish. They were defensively solid yeah. and had moments of brilliance from players like Benzema, who was the yeah. eventual Ballon d'Or winner, and Vinicius Jr. So it makes sense. Facts. Boys, we got our first Premier League side. It is Chelsea 2020-2021. I don't know if this is going to be a high rating, fellas. 
it will not be a high rating because how did Thomas Tuchel win the CL with this team? I will never know. After, I don't know. After Frank Lampard basically brought that whole team into the ground. But now you look back and it's still better than Chelsea now, but still you look and it's like, how did this brother win CL with Kai Havertz, Timo Werner, and, and you know what's funny is that Jorginho all of, in Ballon d'Or yeah. conversations. They're carried by the Euros, come on now. And what's funny is that all of those guys, like the next year or, or two years after, they're gone. Like the yeah. Chelsea team is unrecognizable. But this Kante carry sesh. 100%. Mason Mount, you guys might have- Just some games. Just a no, couple here. No, he was there. good that entire CL run. And that's when Rudiger really came out. I, I, I thought know. it was back three tacks. But the brother's the best center back in the world, so yeah. I can't even hate anymore. Yeah. I'm I, gonna go with a D tier. D? That's D. I would, in I terms would. of winners, the team is really not that good. Like, if you look at individual players, his team was not that good. But there were some performances, like you said, like Kante. Without him, they might have they might have not beaten some teams, you know? Like, he was that pivotal to that Chelsea it, side. It's just, everything just clicked. In that moment, you just saw all those players in the right place at the right time. Yeah. And now you see two years later, three years later, even none of those players are on that Chelsea team anymore. So, yeah, I do agree. Like legacy wise, I don't see them high rate high up there. I would say uh, maybe D. I'd go D on this. But one. you know, the thing is that when you're thinking back at these sides, like you think about Real Madrid, you think about Man City, like are we really going to be thinking about Chelsea? Exactly. Like they were just that that random We're going to look back and be like, how did Kai have, how did Timo Werner win a Champions League? Yeah. It or how did- one of those things that clicked. That's just all clicked it is. clicked at the right time, how, you're right, but whatever. How did Kai Havertz score a Champions League winning goal? Assisted I don't know. by Mason Mount, by the way. I don't even know how. I'm going to go, I'm going to go probably D, yeah. We're going D on this one. Yeah. We're serving out the D. Pause. <laughs> damn, damn, got him again. Unfortunately, Chelsea fans, that Champions League, well, I'm not saying it's fraudulent, but we're saying it's not one of the strongest sides of all time. Up next, we have arguably one of the strongest sides of all time. This is COVID Bayern, 1920. COVID Bayern. Mickey Mouse CL, let's just get it out the way. Why, because no, no fans were in the stadium, it doesn't no count? No fans in the stadium, it doesn't count. You can't say that. They won six trophies that year. They, they I, won, they, that, you want to talk about steamroll? <laughs> That's a steamroll. Brothers did not stop that year. They were going at it. They wanted everything. They okay. Come on. This is gonna this is gonna get spicy. Oh boy. Oh no. Cause in the grand scheme of things, I really don't think that team was that good. No. Do you understand that oh if God. they didn't win, Neymar they would were, be in GOAT okay, conversation? But you realize that Neymar was a, a missed sitter away from beating Bayern in that championship. Sure. Game. Oh my God. And if Mbappe could finish in that Champions League final, we are not having this conversation. We saw a Di Maria masterclass too. And like, and I find Bayern still, still overcame that. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. If anything, that should say how good they were. They Brother. stopped three fucking ballers. <laughs> <laughs> we're keeping that in. So oh, shit. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> Did I, say that? I just slipped out. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go B tier. B. B, yeah. I, I really don't get it with the hype with this team. Dude, every single player on that team was playing to the best of their ability. And I I think if you put Pep's treble team against that sextuple team, it's winning. I don't know. Hansi Flick had it all covered, had it all figured out. But also, Levando uh, Lewandowski yeah. wasn't in Ballon d'Or conversation. They couldn't, they couldn't. Brother, give don't it to bring him. don't bring Lewandowski to a to a real man bro, conversation, bro. He scored so this many goals. This is some real shit conversation <laughs> happening right now. Don't <laughs> bring Robert Lewand Disney into a conversation when we're talking about ballers. You bro. gotta respect. We the just guy. spoke about Mbappe, Neymar, and then you decide to bring up Lewand. And Disney. And one of those ballers got a Champions League against the other two. Well, Neymar got a Champions League too. The, the only the, <laughs> the only thing I could give you is that it, it's almost a similar style like with Chelsea where everything just clicked. Exactly. Everything just clicked. But mind you, they still have some of those players on the team now. Yeah. You know what and I mean? look at how the team's doing now. That's we had Serge thing. Nabry and Coleman reach the peak of their careers. Both players were extremely overrated at that point. Alfonso Davies since, amazing player. I love Alfonso Davies. Riddled by injuries. I mean... It worked well, though. I don't, I don't know, Varvar. I think you have to give this a, at least a low A. That's, that's my, I'm going that's B, my I'm rating. Are you good with low A? Low A. 
I, boys, we're going with low A on that. Starts. I can't believe it, but whatever. Who were the center backs for that team, bro? It was the um, Hummels. No, he was at Dortmund already. Let me check. 2010? 2020? Let me see the jump. Sule. Sule, Sule Pavard, Thiago, Nabri, Javi Martinez. Jesus Christ. Bro, that team stank, bro. Pino. That team stank, bro. It stank. Was this a, this is a team that won 8-2? Yeah. Yeah, Perisic, Boltang. Well, bro, go look at that Barca team that lost 8-2. In 2018, 2019, we witnessed arguably one of the worst CL finals of all time. I, that's just the my worst, opinion. The worst CL final of all time. In recent opinion. times, I agree, yeah. Boys, we're talking about Liverpool, 18-19. I don't know where to rank them. I think it was a great team. And they Very proved that in the league. They dropped 99 points that season, I'm pretty sure, in yeah. the league also. So they, were they close. just, they yeah, were but they lost to, to Man City 100. So I'm putting, I think this is legitimate. That team is legitimately better than that Bayern team that won six, tro six I, trophies. I don't know about that. I'm putting them A. But just to refresh your memory, this is corner taken quickly. Oh, that in itself is like an insane That's an S-tier Champions League moment. Yeah, that, everybody that's remembers that. an iconic that. moment. So you can't tell me they beat Barca and Bayern on the way to the CL final. I mean, that's yeah. two legendary teams. But they faced Spurs in the final. I agree. I'm sorry. I they agree. faced hey. the worst team ever. What's wrong with Spurs? You got Kane. Brother, brother. Who, who's this boy in this and that was, game? And that was the year where Mo Salah really came out. Like, yeah. He was that guy. Yeah. And even Van Dijk. He was shouted to be a top oh, Prime three. Van Dijk. Prime Van Dijk. Should have won Ballon d'Or. Uh, that's, that's wild. I don't, I don't know why that. people say that. Should have won Ballon d'Or. But I'm putting the May. I said A. I'm keeping the May. Low key, I agree with Varva that it's more iconic than the Bayern one. That's why I'm going to put them higher than the Bayern one. But, but it's still A. a. Still, still a. a. Yeah. So high, higher than Bayern, lower than City. Yes. Yes. Honestly, I'm okay with that. Boys, we all agree on this. We all agree Easy on peasy. We're giving out some decent grades here, I think. But this one's going to be nuts. Real 3 Pete. We're bundling it all together. Where are we putting the jugador of a club? Thank God, because I was not speaking about three years of Real Madrid straight. Yes. So this is going to be S tier. I think we can all agree on S tier. Yes. Is this a Madridista stand-up moment? This is a Madridista stand up moment but you haven't stood you haven't stood up once but ever so there you go he's actually standing off camera i did it off camera oh my god the camera the mic just that, came off but i'm oh. still gonna speak great that's that's the madrid madridista telling you to stand up again bro this is what happens with the madridista stand up this is what you see firms this is why i don't stand up you see <laughs> but look at that team look at all 11 players how do you keep a core of those same players for, so, for three consecutive years and still playing competitive every single year. And what's insane is that they gave us like some of the best moments in Champions League ever. Like, well, who? They. 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 <laughs> Ronaldo and Gareth Bale. But I mean, they. They're part of a team, aren't they? Like, is, is there a conversation that Bale in a CL final is one of the best players of all time? What? <laughs> Rephrase that. Is there a conversation that Gareth Bale, when he plays a Champions League final, Okay. Is one of the best players of all time. I mean, he's played how many Champions League finals? Two? Brother. Two? Three? Gareth Bale is one of the most underappreciated players of our generation. It has to be said. We, I've said this on multiple TikToks, multiple shorts. But who's not appreciating him? I mean, I think we've said it a couple of times. You. I forget who. Why? Gareth Bale, in terms of clutchness, when his team needs him, goes into that different level, that S tier type player level. But I never said that he wasn't that. I just said that Ronaldo was always better than him, obviously. In his Champions League final, like, listen, Ronaldo had his penalties, his penalty moments. Oh my God, we're bringing penalties. But what, versus, let's say versus Atletico, when it went to penalties, he was the man to score to win. I get exactly. that clutch. That's clutch, but Gareth That's not failed. part of the three-peat, by exactly. the way. Exactly, it ain't part of the three-peat. That's what I'm trying to say here. But Ronaldo, like, hat-trick against Wolfsburg and stuff like that is part of the three-peat. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so, Wolfsburg. It's, look, final either team. way, it's an S-tier. We're, we're, yeah, just, yeah, we're sure. just clutching at straws and creating conversation here, but it's an S-tier. It is Fox. an S-tier. This is the easiest S-tier I think we'll see. We will never, we will potentially, for the rest of our lives, never see a team three-peat like this in CL. No, we're going to... History repeats. I agree, but... I just hope it repeats with uh, with Inter. With Inter. <laughs> <laughs> you can wait a long time for that. Keep waiting. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a wait. I'm a wait. <laughs> but 
we might never see a front three at the level of yeah benzema bale cristiano all at their peaks well we saw it. we'll see the next team but whatever take we'll me see. back take me back man the so where so s s s come on s top of s Listen, these were the years of Spanish dominance. You had Sevilla winning Europa every single year. Real three-peating. And even before the Real three-peat, we had Barca 14-15. This, I think, is one of the more iconic teams of the Champions League. What do you guys think? This was an amazing team to watch. Take me back, man. Take me back. MSN, one of the best trio ever. My gosh. I, I don't even know where to good. start. Life Sorry? was good. Life was good. When MSN was there. Remember, we used to come, we used to come back from school. Watch this Champions League final. Oh. Everything was good. Life was good. Is man. it an Happen. S though? It's not an S. You? No, it's not an S. You, you, you brothers are not saying S. Even low S. I, I think it has to be an S just off the fact that we got to watch Messi, Suarez, and Neymar play together and win Four, a Champions League together. Three of the top four players of our generation played together. Yeah, it's actually it's, it's you, pretty nuts. You wish it, it lasted In for longer. You, but you wish it lasted for longer. Unfortunately, Neymar left. Pretty much like right after that. They dominated a very good Juve side in that CL final. They yeah. dominated. Also, yeah. on, we won't talk about Juve just yet, but. And on top of that, they had some very underrated players in that team, like Rakitic, underrated. Deserves. But then, yeah. We're, we're talking about MSN, MSN. These brothers had Xavi, Iniesta, Busquets, midfield. The, just little chilly. older. They were a little older. But I don't they care still pull how their old these brothers are. They were good until they collapsed. Like they're they're good until yeah. like the these guys could tiki taka around you until the they're a, a day the day they're in their coffin. Boys, keep in mind, Barca's road to the CL final was not an easy one. They had to face City in the round of 16. They had to face PSG in the quarterfinals. Bayern in the semifinals. These are some of the heavy hitters, favorites of the Champions League, and they ran through all of them just to win. I'm saying yes. I'm seeing, I don't know, they had a difficult run, I could agree with that, but I'm going to say A just because, like, I don't know, I find they don't compete with, like, a treble winning Man City, you know, like, they, or You're other... saying MSN does not compete with treble Man That's City? Goal, goal scoring, yes, but as a team and as a whole, I don't think so. <laughs> it's not even Burn. crazy to Burn. say. I think, I think this might be a low S for me. Low I'm S? Saying S. I'm going to say low S. I think this team clears trouble, Man City. Who did we put in the S tier? Just Real. Uh, Real. Like, do they compete with Real? But they I, did. <laughs> they, 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 they did. <laughs> they did. They kind of did. But <laughs> they did. And this was prime Barca 2 firms. I know, but the next year, what happened the next year? You know what I mean? I get it. I get it. But if you're looking at CL Legacy, where MSN is always going to be near the top of the list for legacy wise. I think low S, maybe high A, but I'm gonna go low S on this one. Okay, so we're in S. Low S it is. Like we said before, this is Spanish dominance. The next one up, Real Madrid, 13-14. La decima. Where are we putting them? Legendary squad, must be said. But on paper. But is it as good as the three-peat squad? I don't think so. I don't think so either. And then let's start comparing it to the eight-tier squad that we have. Is it Treble Man City? No. I don't think so. On Is paper, it looks crazy. But then when you really dig into it, like this was Modric before he really got like, he, well, he was always good. But like before good, but he- Listen, the, Casemiro was barely in the picture exactly. at that time. You still had Pepe starting. Yeah. Casillas was getting older. Contrao. Contrao. Respect his career, but like, who is he in this game? You know, he's yeah. a fisherman now. Brother's a fisherman. <laughs> I ain't <laughs> saying nothing wrong with that. Brother's a fisherman. <laughs> you had legends like Xabi Alonso too. Yeah, but Benzema was seen as a villain around this yeah. time. Like he, wasn't, I remember. he wasn't the Ballon d'Or. He wasn't the Ballon d'Or, Benzema. No. That's why. The only bright spot I could see on this team was like, for sure was Ronaldo. Andy Maria. Andy Maria too was well, he was balling. Man of the match in the CL final. Let's respect. True. Put some respect. On, and then he joined United, obviously. And uh, Sergio Ramos didn't he score in the final? Yeah. Look, it was a good team. I'm putting them B tier. It was a very good team, mm. but in the grand scheme of things, it was not as good as some of the future teams they had. I agree. Yeah. And I I, I think B is a little harsh ish. I would go high B. I I'd, I'd say maybe top of B. I agree. I agree. Top I would of B. go less than that i would go b minus just because like Ooh. if you look at the opponents that they played uh you got schalk borussia dormant they, like they compl they actually dominated all of the bundesliga on the way there they did yeah. schalke dortmund yeah, they, bayern but are they better than 21 22 real the the last time real won a cl final yes 
You think? Yeah. No. I don't yes. think so. Because that's that right now. That's top of B right now. Yeah. I think they're better than the last CL winners of Real. I don't think so. I, I think, think less people doubted them back then than they, they did in 21. They were more of a certainty. But when you look at individual brilliance, it was Ronaldo. Like who was who was there? You know, that like is prime outside of Ronaldo. Are you forgetting that like? Like you're forgetting that there's people like Chabi Alonso there, of like course. Pepe, Varane, like. But when you look at the twenty, look at the 2022 one. You even people like Modric, individual brilliance, his assist with the outside yeah. of the foot, like. I th I'm thinking 2022, but I, I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna go with Varvar on this one. I think highest B. In the comments, who is better, La Decima, La Decima, or the 2122 Real Madrid? Let us know. The 2010s, man, they were dominated by the Spanish teams. And some may say also dominated by the German teams because the next team up is 2012-2013 Bayern Munich. They've been mainstays in this competition for at least 20 years. That was an insane team. You got you had Ribery, Robin. Mandzukic. What a team, man. But is that nostalgia tax? A little bit. But this is another team that, like, when you went back home and watched this Champions League final, like, wow. Weinsteiger. Philip Come on. Mom. Like, I know you like to hate on Bayern, but oh, you can agree. He ain't, a, he ain't a hater. He's just a is realist. It, is it better than La Decima, though? Brother. On paper, maybe no. Like, it's, it's, it's not local. better than La Decima. Bro, Cruz was starting. It's not better than La Decima. On I paper, maybe no, but, but listen. Cruz at Bayern is not the Cruz that we're talking about today. I understand, but Schweinsteiger was pulling his weight. You know what I mean? Listen, the back line, you're starting Alaba, Dante, Boateng, Lam. Neuer and Net. This is legendary. You have to imagine these guys are a year away, a year or two away from winning a World Cup, most of these guys. Facts. They're, they're prime. Is it better than La Decima, though? I don't know. Like, that but, whole front three it does not even equal Ronaldo. So, like... Yeah, but they were good, man. Like, I think Ribéry was in that Ballon d'Or conversation around this time. Yeah. You're he got podium, I'm pretty sure. Comparing to Ronaldo, though. I understand I we're comparing it. with one of the best, but... Just look at it as a whole. Like La Decima has this aura around it that Bayern may not have, but Bayern had a really good team. Like overall, it's a, they dem it's demolished a, teams. It's a B minus. No, team. but okay, okay, okay. Here's the question though: because we have Bayern already on this tier list, are they better than 1920 Bayern? 1920 Bayern was better than that Bayern. They won so. every trophy, bro. Like I'm a Bayern so. hater. I get it. Top hater right here. I'm top <laughs> hater, number one hater. I don't 1920 think 1920 was better. You can't say that. Like, I feel like I'm contradicting myself because of the trophies thing, but although they won all those trophies, as a team, they were not playing as cohesive as 11-12. Uh, like, 11-12, in my opinion, is way 12, better. 12-13. 12-13, sorry. But... Mixing the years up. I... No, you're wrong. Uh, so, so where... Okay, okay. Where are you I'm, putting it, Barbara? Since I know you guys are going to go higher than me and it's going to put the score up, I'm actually going to go high C. No. <laughs> oh my no, God. no, no, no. I'm, C. I was even I, thinking. I, I, my actual opinion's B minus, like low B, but. Okay, whatever. I'll say low B. Uh, first, I think for this, co considering we're looking at like three Pete Real, MSN, we're looking at some of the top dons in, this, in CL history. Yeah. I think B is okay for this. Like schmack middle? I would say schmack middle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would even go B plus, but I'll agree with B, B schmack. Schmack B middle. Schmack middle. All right, we are putting Bayern 2012-2013 in B tier. <laughs> Up next, we have Chelsea 2011-2012. Is this the most iconic Chelsea side of all time? Who yes. Else? Who else even competes? That's crazy. Maybe the Mourinho one. No, this is more iconic. The in what way? I don't know. Like Frank this Lampard. Is, like 04, 05 Chelsea. You're pulling up with some Dons. Yeah, yeah. but bro, 11, 12 Drogba against Bayern Munich. That's iconic, bro. Thing is that they gave us more moments to remember than maybe a 04, 05 Chelsea. Yeah, I agree. Their manager, though, in the grand scheme of things, is the worst on the list. Who's their manager? Di Matteo. Oh, yeah. And Di Matteo on this Spec list. Roberto Di Matteo, that's Chelsea our, legend. No. That's I our can't. Italian Don. Yeah, he's Italian, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all he's got. That's all he's got. I think. It's, it is one of the more memorable teams, but I think player-wise. If you're looking at formation team-wise, I don't think it's as yeah. memorable. You're looking at Torres up front, who scored that Not iconic goal. Not the same goal Torres, though, as 
the Liverpool Torres. That's the problem. But listen, you still have Lampard. You have Mata Sturridge. But where does that put them on this list, though? If we're going to compare, we put Liverpool 18-19 A. We put yes, them A. They're, but they're significantly better than this Chelsea side, in my opinion. I don't think by that much. But you, they are. Where are you putting this team? Because in my opinion... 12, 13 Bayern's better, and I put them low B. So I'm going to put this team C. Oh, my God. Well, 12, 13 Bayern. Okay, no. This I think Chelsea's sense. teams that have won Champions League are really not that good. No, this Chelsea team, you could say, is legendary. But they played against Bayern in the final, and it wasn't as convincing as it's supposed to be, like, for a legendary team. I don't know. I would go B minus. Probably the low lowest. B. Lowest I'm, of the B? I'm going lowest C. of the Bs. C? I'm going C. If we're looking at the past teams that we spoke about, I'm going to put this Chelsea team, an iconic Chelsea team, I'm going to put it lowest of the beast. So we're putting them in the same tier as La Decima. And no, no, La Decima is high B, the highest of the Bs. But I don't even think that's crazy to say. I don't that's think that's crazy, crazy to say. That's crazy. This Chelsea team was insane. Like, and, the, and they were competing in European competitions yeah. for at least yeah, two or three years before that. they're pulling up to a CL final with Solomon Kalou. Like, like, but brother was pretty good. What are you talking about? <laughs> Solomon Kalou. Boys, we're talking about legendary teams here. I think there's not a lot of teams as legendary as Barca 2010-2011. Where are we putting this monster of a team? S tier. Let's calm down here. Whoa. What are we calming down, Varvar? Let's calm down here. He's got the Barca kit on. You know he's hyping it up. Yes. They were the most dominant team of all time. Yeah. Okay. Yes, but, 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 but they're the greatest team of all time. It has to be an S tier. Okay. Greatest team of all time. That's the greatest team of all time, without a doubt. But do we put them above 3P? They have Pep. Of course. Pep. What? Yes. Brother. Brother. Okay, but, wait, wait, okay, wait. Okay. But you're looking at a 3 Pete with the same group of guys. Okay, wait, wait, much. wait. I understand, but this is a treble winning side. No, 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 listen, listen. This individual year is better than any individual year of the three-peat. But the three-peat as a whole is more impressive mm. than that. So you're saying when you split up the three-peat, this Barca team this beats Barca every team single version of that. Every, beats every single version of that. That's crazy. In I mean, the grand scheme of things, <laughs> yes, there were more games that Real Madrid probably had better performances. But this, you would face this Barcelona side, you knew you were losing. Messi. Eto. This David is Xavi, Dia. Iniesta, Busquets, Xavi, Prime. Iniesta, Busquets, Dani Alves. Oh my God. We're talking about the best midfielders ever. We're talking about the best player ever. To me, like, this team is better than the three. It has to be an S. It has to be. It has to be. This is a Barca side that beat Real Madrid in the semi final. They beat a red hot United team in the final 3 1. I, listen, there's no debate here. I think this is an S tier. I wouldn't go so far as to say the best S tier of all time, but I mean, if the boys are saying the best, it's the single best year of all time for, for yeah, a team. The biggest prime ever. Boys, I'm not going to lie. That's kind of crazy. But you know what else is crazy? Today's sponsor, Squarespace. Let me take a quick second here to explain to you why Squarespace is an S tier website building tool that makes it as easy and effective as possible to start your website from scratch. Squarespace helps you sell products online and engage with your audience to a world class level. I'm speaking like prime Mesut Ozil level of assisting you. Squarespace stands out by providing intuitive customization tools, empowering users to tailor their websites effortlessly. With analytics encompassing keywords, products, and content, Squarespace equips users with valuable insights for informed marketing strategies. From crafting strategic plans to tracking website performance, Squarespace helps your dream website turn into reality from the comfort of your home, all at an affordable price. For those of you that might want blogging services, they even allow you to share your stories, photos, videos, or updates. If this aligns with your needs, visit squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, check out squarespace.com slash box to box to enjoy a 10% discount on your first purchase of a website or domain. Elevate your online presence with Squarespace. I think it's settled. Barca 2010-2011 is the highest ranked team we have on this list so far. Let's see if the next one is up there with the greats. This is Inter 09 
2010. Mourinho, legend. Where are we putting them? In terms of moments. Oh, no. A. <laughs> I, okay. okay. The him running around the pitch and stuff at the Camp Nou. Is iconic. Is iconic, okay? It is iconic. But in the grand scheme of things, the team is what? Say it. B. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> is he Garbage. lying though? Okay, we're looking at, we're, let's look at the other Bs on this list. Chelsea 2011-12. Inter 9 10 beats them. It beats them. Not agreed. even a question. Agreed, agreed. Beats I them. don't know. Yes. Then you're I agree, but. Bayern 2012-13. That's close. Close. But no cigar Inter wins that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No bias, no bias. No involved. bias at all. Real 13-14. Beats. Beats Inter. <laughs> It beats Inter. I don't know. We beat Pep's Barca with Ibrahimovic. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, I mean, that's, that's kind of true. Though. I personally would say that Real Madrid beats them. What about Barca? Uh, and the I other team. <laughs> the, the other team. The other team. Real 21-22. Inter beats. Inter beats them. So I'm saying. Can we... Can we look at Inter squad? Like you, I know we got Eto, best African player ever. But Milito, Milito, Eto, Stankovic, Cambiasso, Zanetti. Zanetti. It's a good team. These are Cesar. decent players. Yeah. No, oh my God. no but no, like, they're legends. Like God help me. They're not better than Ronaldo, Xabi Alonso, Sergio Ramos. But, but that that decima side had individually good players but i think inter as a team like di maria was better would maybe be inter's best player on no. that team eto eto, eto was better eto was better Bro, eto was better di maria that year was different he was nasty he was nasty but this is prime eto we're talking about brother prime i would we're go saying bayern 1920 is low a uh, this wasn't me it's low a brother was it me you how, cannot. This how isn't we put possible. Them there? <laughs> because you, you two said they won six trophies. They won six trophies. Maybe, maybe at the end we should revise. Like, if we'll, there's we'll any. We'll look at it. Yeah, we'll look at it. But I think this is. Well, it's B. This enters an A. B. This enters is an A. B. It's an A. I would go A. I'm Thank sorry. Thank you. I'm the sorry. Syria bias is insane. Bro, I'm not, a Milan okay, fan. Yeah, but I'm it's Syria bias. You think no, Syria no, 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 is no, no. actually I'm more not. important than it that is. That was one of the greatest. That's probably the greatest inter side of all time. We're talking about That's Champions not hard League. to do, no, though. No, it is very hard to do, my brother. It's <laughs> not hard it to do. It is very, very hard to do. Not many clubs are built like inter, my brother. <laughs> yeah. there's, there's hold on, hold on. You're, you're talking too much now. I said not many. I said not Kay. many. Okay. I'm not saying the inter is the best team of all time. But... They're up there. I'm listen. I'm saying A, but I'm not saying I would put them on the same level. City 22-23. What? <laughs> what? Okay, maybe F tier. I'll go no. with Var Var. No, this is an A. This is I, an a. You're acting like I said F. I said B. You said okay. A. I said A, but well, what a. did you just say? You're... On the same level. It's the same category, my brother. What do you? Th okay, no, no. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Listen, I'll low, give, I'll low give you a. some points. I'll give you some points. Low A. City first. City 22-23 and A. You're the of lowest course. A. Oh my God. You're the lowest, lowest a. a. What are you complaining? We beat Bayern 1920. Anyways, well, I'll, you guys saying I lowest agree, a? but I did, you, you guys are saying lowest A, so we'll put them lowest A. Whatever. Good. Thank you. I fought in Teresi. I fought for as long as I could. <laughs> There's two watching, really. <laughs> He's fighting for all two of them. But anyways, let us know what you think of our tier list. Did we do some? Do we say some teams were higher? Some teams were lower? You let us know in the comments down below. And as always. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support means the world to us. We'll see you guys next week. Let us know one thing you guys would change about our tier list, the one mistake we did, and we'll see you guys next week. Peace.